Okay, let's see. I started in with a new uh, a new one. The other one was just getting a little bit too messy and confusing. So um, here's here's one that's just uh, we're just gonna focus on the the handle. You can probably see I've already sort of sketched it in, which is is testimony to the fact that this is not that easy. <laughs> I like doing it first before I even try um, recording it, making sure I got it straight in my own brain. But as you can hopefully see, once again, basic cylinder, I've got my center axes, my short axes, and my axis, I should say, and my long axis here. That's this lower line. This one, this line represents the uh, sort of the angle back that the, ha the handle is pointing in. So I'm using that to help gauge how I'm going to um, sketch in the, the box here. So these, this, these top parts of the, uh, of the imaginary box will follow basically this line here. Parallel with that. This one is basically being is uh, is following this this little part of where it would attach. That's taking sort of that's a bit confusing to think about all those things seeing through and ellipses and but. If it's too confusing, I just try to kind of make sure that that angle feels right. And that's not nearly as critical as just the overall idea here. So like the, um, those first, that first video I think I did on the construction for the handle, I'm going to start off with this curve. I'm just, first I'm going to take care of the outside part and then get rid of um, this construction box after it's um, sort of done serving its purpose. I know on the other one I, I did some crisscrossing and etc, but that was because it was pretty much just an even sort of a cylindrical item split in half, semi-cylinder, I think I called it, which I don't know if is really a term. But for this one, it's more this angle. But I am definitely trying to think about that curve. And I'm going to think about... this other side that we uh, can't see at this point and we would only start seeing as we get to the top here. But basically that line is uh, echoing our first one. Or the other one's echoing this one. I'm not sure which is which. First one is this point to this point. And then the other one is this point to this point. I'll erase the, uh, the box in a second, but just so I know that I'm basically kind of completing kind of that connecting part of 
completing that part, which is similar to when you complete the side of a of two ellipses to uh, create a cylinder. Not not unlike a very s small version of this and this. Just happened to be that these these ellipses are these initial ellipses are overlapping each other. So that's the outside part. And like I think I've said, I do try to think of that line as following the angle of this construction box mostly. Kind of does some interesting curvy things. But let's see. Knock back some of this stuff a little bit. And I think I'm kind of done with this stuff too. So let me just knock that back and knock it back and kind of, I know it's still going to be there if I, if I really need to kind of get some extra help, which I often do. Like, wait a minute, what was I doing? So there's sort of our, um, our outside shape. I'm going to um, knock that back because we wouldn't be able to see that. And now I want to um, start connecting some of the other points. And I know it's, it's kind of confusing, but stick with me here. I'm going to think, uh, I'm going to think about the, um, the top part. That would, as it would bend, it would attach to the mug. And in a similar fashion, this part would be um, attaching. Sometimes it helps to kind of at least get a, a little line started so you can really start seeing what's going on. At, and then at this point I would sort of try to uh, create what is the side plane of this really kind of a uh, dimensional letter C, three-dimensional. So if that is that side, completing the side of that one. Let's clean that up a little. And the, the last thing I need to do is connect this one with this guy. And I'm going to try to emulate this lower curve almost exactly and right here is where it gets really confusing because I'm overlapping and not really seeing what's going on back there.
but the idea is to try to make sure that you understand which curve should be matching which curve. It definitely helps as I know we were start talking about in class a little bit more, thinking about which which point is going to connect with which point. So each of these four points is going to have a thing connecting. If that's helpful, then certainly use that by all means. If it's more confusing than helpful, then don't. So that seems uh, that seems okay for blocking that in. I'll start erasing the stuff that um, I wouldn't see just to, to get a better feel for what's going on here. Including some of that stuff. Yeah. Excuse me there. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now and then come back and uh, let's uh, get rid of you because we wouldn't be seeing you. Come back and worry about shading. Actually, for this one, I'll need to worry about several things, but because um, it's sort of a new one. So, but that's the idea for that. Try it on. Um, try it and in, in, um, when you're not doing it in a mug handle per se, and just kind of trying to understand the geometry of this particular structure. And you can curse your drawing instructor for um, <laughs> giving you a, a nice challenging thing to try to draw. And then keep practicing. Okay.